pretend that this, this bed is made. Let's pretend. Hello, 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 booktubing world. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I am back with another video. So let me take my glasses off, child. It's gonna be a little bit of a glare. So today is your girl's birthday, and I have like a whole thing, everything that I want to do. I've been celebrating my birthday since yesterday. It's just been nice to like get away, have a little staycation. If you don't know, I'm in Atlanta, but I drove out to Savannah, so it was like a four-hour drive, and. Yesterday I went to the bookstores, hung out, did a whole bunch of stuff, and celebrated Cinco de Mayo, y'all, because, <laughs> you know, Cinco de Mayo is just like when you just, tequila is your best friend. And then today is my birthday, so I'm just grateful to see another year, grateful for how far I've come and how far I'm going to go, and... I'm gonna take you guys with me for my birthday so we have a lot to do child but first of all let's talk about the tbr the tbr is literally just one book and that is this one <laughs> i've been reading this book for so long like that's my that's my thing with big books it's like if you don't really have a schedule or if you don't really have a plan going into them you will be reading these books for all eternity and that's basically what's been going on with me and this book have i been enjoying it yes am i happy that i'm like 70% into this yes but I would like to finish this and just like be done like I feel like all the big books that I've been reading this year I've been like getting really far into them and then I get to the point where I'm like okay I've been reading this for like two months like let's let's wrap this up and I have my next big big book picked out so I want to finish this so that I can start that one so the only way I can start that one is if I finish this one I'm not gonna be reading too big Books at the same time simply not so if you don't know this one is called blood mercy and it basically follows this fantasy world where there is like royalty and they're separated by like the nobles the kings the queens all that stuff and like the hesperians which are like vampires ideally but the thing that's cool about this is like the vampires are just different like their history their politics the way that they go about life is very different i feel like they're like the hippies of the vampires like they always paint vampires to be like super brutal and vicious and like blood sucking monsters or whatever but it's just like their mindset and then the way that they look at the world is so completely different from like just regular people and they kind of like touch a lot on like okay you guys think we're monsters but you're doing this you think that we're monsters but you're doing that and it's just like a call out to the human race channel but overall i'm really enjoying it i like the politics in this it has very <laughs> it has writing that you really have to get into so that's another thing where it's like i could sit down and read this but it just has that type of writing where it's like i need to have like two hours set aside to like really get into it because of the writing style but i am enjoying it i do just want to finish it and it's like a romance between the king's like bastard daughter so his his daughter that he had outside of his marriage and one of the hesperian is he a prince i don't think he's a prince one of the hesperians that are coming to visit and it's just like the scandal of the town child because they're not supposed to be together like at all but she's a rebel so she just like live laugh love let me do what i want to do and that's what she'd be doing so yeah i'm just they've already had the little romance they'd already done smash child you know what I'm saying so it's like it's like a fantasy romance and I really just want to finish this like I'm hoping that I finish this book this weekend or get <laughs> close to finishing it honestly this last like chunk is a glossary I have this much left this is literally it this is all I have and if I just do like two really long sprints I know that I can finish it so that's gonna be the focus but let's talk about what we're gonna be doing for my birthday child so it's a little bit gloomy outside but i don't give a damn i got an umbrella and we gonna we gonna make it shake it is what it is but first thing we're gonna do is i found this little bakery i don't know if it's a breakfast place but i know it's black owned and it's like one of the oldest oldest black owned place restaurants out here so you know i gotta support my people child you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying i gotta support my folks so i'm going out there we're gonna go to that little bakery get a little breakfast and then y'all already know i gotta get a crab broil like it has to happen like i am going back vegetarian i can't decide if i want to go back vegetarian in june or july and this time that i go vegetarian i'm gonna be vegetarian for three years i always set like 
specific time periods because i'd be missing seafood so it's like i can't just do it forever child i really just can't i can't do it but i'm debating if i'm gonna start in june or i'm gonna start in july so I'm just, this is just basically my last hurrah <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i'm just trying to actually enjoy seafood before it just completely goes away from my wife i've been stacking up all my cookbooks and getting ready for that so we gotta go get some a crab broil and then i want to go to the movies because super i think super mario brothers movie came out like a week ago or so but super mario brothers that's just like my whole childhood like nintendo 64 me and my cousins and my sisters we stayed on that game like that's like one, some of my favorite memories with my grandmother the other shit gone i guess it'll run on its own White shit gone. How's it going, grandmother? Huh? How's it going? Real cute. <laughs> you can't even swim across it. <laughs> you gotta jump. You can't get there without the the um what you call it? Big nothing. You just gotta you gotta jump in the the lava because it's not coming back. Like you just have to die. Grips, <laughs> you have to die. There's no other way. Not yet. They killed me too many times. <laughs> <laughs> Stop going back down the hill. Double jump. Jump twice. Like, jump twice when you slide. We used to play that game so much. Like I literally got, I went on a like phase where it's like the entire summer, I would just stay in the house and play that game. And I was so good at it. Anytime somebody else would try to play and they had difficulties, they would come to me and ask me for help. So it's just like, you know, then my folks, like I gotta go see that movie. Like I simply just have to, I think it's gonna be good. I'm excited. And then there's also this bar that I wanna go to cause they look like they have really good drinks. So that's what's on the itinerary. Then I have to edit this video. Not this one, but another book bookstore video, which should be up by the time y'all see this. But a bookstore video, get that up for you guys, and then find some time to read. So that's what <laughs> the itinerary is looking like today. Will I have a ton of time to read? I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to make some damn time today, okay? So, yeah. Happy birthday to me. I'm ready to go eat. I'm hungry, child. So let's get to it. See y'all in the next clip. Bye. We used to have each other's playlists No, no we used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mind Yeah And maybe we could try it next week Again but who cares? You said that we're over Hands under covers alone This time But everything I see Still reminds me of you Back of all your things The memories of when I kissed you I've been in a day. I left my heart out to you so you could see me through. Though you still deserve better, you stick with me. Cause everything I see.
to talk to y'all because I feel like I just been showing y'all clips. Chill, you know, I'll be struggling up in this car, chill. This damn steering wheel. Ain't there some way you can adjust this? Yeah, I knew there was a way you could pull this down. I mean, okay, there we go. There, of course, the lighting changes. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like I need to talk to y'all because I just been showing y'all clips and I have not said anything, but my birthday is going great. Thank you for asking. So basically the first thing I did, I went to a bakery, which was called, I think it was called Back in the Day Bakery. Really, really cute. I got a lot of footage there, so hopefully you guys got to see it. And then I went to, 
I went to get a crab boil because you already know I gotta eat I gotta eat my crab boil okay in between there I read for like 45 minutes so while I was getting the crab boil I started the new Bridgerton because my cousin texted me and told me the new Bridgerton is out so I started watching that and child this season is gonna be good Shonda Rock was it Shonda Rhimes Shonda she gonna eat every time child and this this is just giving me this is gonna be drama and the fact that she got she had 15 kids and I think 11 of them are still alive so it's basically this season is following the queen and I just love that when they pitched this as a tv show they made it so much more diverse because like the actresses and the actors they have in this are just they're so beautiful and they're just actors and actresses that I've never seen before like even last season both of them were so beautiful you got to see like different colors different costumes like different fits like they all had different personalities it's just nice to see the show be so, so diverse compared to like the book but yeah so i was watching that while i ate my crab broil everybody was like flooding my instagram telling me happy birthday so i, I really appreciate it and i'm gonna be celebrating my birthday all month long so you can feel free to click on my wish list and buy me some books thank you very much and then i went to go see the Mario Brothers movie, it was really good. Like I told y'all, I grew up playing Mario with my grandmother, so it just holds a special place in my heart. But it was funny. It was nice seeing how they added in different parts of like the Super Mario Brothers game and like Super Mario Kart. I don't, I am not a Super Mario Kart girl because <laughs> I played it a couple times with my cousins. I'm just not good at that game. Like I'm just gonna have to chalk it up to just like not being good at that game. But all the other Super Mario games I have played, so it was nice to see it. The storyline was funny. They had really good voice actors. The visuals were cool. Like it was just cute. It was really cute. I really enjoyed it. And I was gonna go to this bar that I was, I don't know if I told y'all about it, but I was gonna go to this bar that's black owned. But my sister actually booked this candle making I think it's a candle making class like a candle making class for me so I'm gonna go do that now instead of going to the bar and in between me going to get my crab broil and going to the movies I read for like another hour so your girl has been chug chug chugging through this book like we are getting this book done <laughs> like I'm so sorry this book is getting done today well not today but this weekend so I got all the way up to I think I got to page 500 yeah so I got to page 500 so I read about 40 or 50 pages and there is 634 pages so I have 134 pages left and I am done with this book so after I go to this candle making class I'm going to go back to my telly and I'm just gonna read like read and edit and just relax so my main focus is just getting as much reading done tonight as possible so as of right now i'm really enjoying my birthday the sun has decided to, to grace us and come out this weather don't know what it want to do to do this camera don't know what it want to do honestly it keeps going out of focus okay so the weather don't know what it want to do it's hot it's raining then it's cold then it's sunny i had on a jacket <laughs> shorts sneakers and an umbrella because i just didn't know what the hell was going on with the weather so i was just prepared for everything but now it's starting to get hot out and yeah i'm excited to do the candle making class i really appreciate my sister doing it for me so i'm glad i'm able i'm gonna be able to get this on camera but yeah i'm gonna go inside take you guys with me of course so i will see y'all in the next clip okay Too many. 
the criteria was not available. My sister actually ended up booking me candle making class. I think I already told you guys this in the last clip, but it was really fun. I went for more of like a peachy, like summertime fruity vibe for my candle. I picked three different smells and like my main smell basic basically is like peach and it smells so good like it has this whole hotel room smelling amazing and she said i i can't burn it for 24 hours so i'm just gonna wait a few days i really just want to keep it i don't really want to burn the candle because it has like the oils that was in it it kind of just like still has the smell without me actually burning it and i want to keep it for like a keepsake you know for my for my birthday so it was fun i enjoyed it i should have brought my book because there was like a period where i just had to wait for the candles to settle and i thought i would have been like having to do a whole bunch of stuff but i had to like sit there and wait so I watched more of Bridgerton, but I should have brought this damn book. But as of right now, I have 132 pages left. So we are at the end of this book. And my goal to read today is like 50 pages. I have, I'm gonna be going to two different restaurants today and just like wrapping up my, my final day in Savannah before I make the drive back home. So I'll try to read in between that. But this book is getting finished this week, like regardless, I don't give a damn what's happening. And I guess I'll talk a little bit about the book. So as I told you guys, it's basically a political setting, political fantasy setting between like the nobles, like all the royals and the civilians and stuff like that, and the Hasperians, which are vampires. And they have different beliefs, they have different, you know, history and stuff like that. And they don't they have like issues but they kind of are like making amends or whatever and currently the Hasperians are visiting the king and the romance is between the king's bastard daughter and one of the Hasperians and it's honestly just like really slow so like if you like fantasy romance that has like little to no plot like there isn't much plot there's a lot of people in it that are like shysty that are like sneaky or that are doing things that are i feel like later on gonna build up to some type of plot but for the most part it's a very low stake <laughs> simple book it's kind of just like 
I feel like because this is the first book it's just like setting everything up for the rest of the series so I don't know if it's gonna get more like political heavy if it's gonna get more intense as the series goes on but as of right now it's just very chill you're just getting to know all the characters getting to know the politics getting to understand the issues the things that happened in the past and like there's a romance developing but for the most part it's just very very simple so if you feel like that would be boring for you this is not the book for you like it's not like heavy and like there has not been a fight yet like when people die like you don't get to see it like this is not my typical book because like I like bloody gruesome fantasy and like heavy and political stuff so but I don't mind it it's like it's not like I'm hating it it's very low stakes the writing is beautiful you really just have to get used to the writing and once you do you're just kind of like you know flowing along with it it's like a fantasy romance but a lullaby you know what i'm saying like a, just a lullaby that's just like very slow very simple very beautiful and you're just getting to know the characters so i do want to finish this because i bought the prequel to this book so i want to read that one to see if if i can see more of like the history and the things that happened before, prior to this book and then i'll continue on with the series so i am enjoying it i honestly feel like it'll be like you know how you have those in between books where it's like it's not a three because that's too low but it's not a four because that's like too high i feel like it'll be like a 3.6 not even a 3.75 because i feel like a 3.75 would be like oh it was so close to being a four but it was like at no point did i feel like this was like a four star book for me i feel like this is like a 3.6 i'll give it like a 3.6 and i am enjoying it i do want to read the rest of the books in the series but as of right now that's what's happening in the book the, one of the main characters her name is Casia, and she is the um the king's bastard daughter and I like her like she she just I just felt like she just she got that oomph to her and like eventually she really just gonna be the one to like change everything like you know how we have those royal nobles and then they have kids and then their kids just want to change the world like that's just like one of my favorite plots so I feel like she's going to be the one to do something or change something like she's finding ways to change things on her own time and in ways that are safe for her and the people around her so for the most part everything she's doing I am enjoying she has like a little guard dog <laughs> that is like kind of like her familiar he protects her there's a lot of people that kind of like nitpick with her and bother her or whatever but she I don't know she's smart like she does things that like on the low that protects her or to help her get her way so like I just feel like she's smart so I am enjoying her character I am also enjoying what is his name is it Leo yeah Leo is her love interest he's the Hasperian I'm enjoying him as well it's just it's a good time like it, it really is just a good time I'm glad that I started this I'm ready to read the prequel because it's a little bit shorter so it's way shorter actually so I'm ready to read that but that's where we are with the book and for today for my final day in Savannah I'm going to be going to grab breakfast at this place called is it the Little Duck I think it's like Little Duck Cafe or something like that and it's like a breakfast place and they put these little rubber ducks in their drinks and they're just so cute to me and I also wanted to go to the comic book store I was going to put the comic book store in my book shopping video but that day was just like so long and I just did so much walking so like I didn't want to add a third bookstore to that so I'll just add it in this video so comic book store and then I'm gonna get my final crab broil and then I'm gonna head back home the drive here really wasn't bad I, I didn't even take a full tank of gas it almost took a full tank of gas but it was like $30 for me to fill my tank and get here and then fill my tank with another 30 well actually it was a little it was almost 40 because gas is more expensive out here but for the most part the drive was fine but that's what's on the itinerary for de today i'm gonna try to get some reading done but i know for a fact that i'm gonna be able to finish this book this week so i'm excited for that but let's get our day started let's go ahead and check out of here and go get something to eat i'll see you guys in the next clip bye <music>
I am back home and I want to show you guys what I got at the last stop which was the comic book store it was really cool I love the setup the guys that own the shop were really nice and I was gonna go grab a crab boil after but like that breakfast knocked me out like <laughs> I don't know why I was really gonna just like eat breakfast and then like tour the city a little bit and then grab crab boil and then come back but I was like okay it's still kind of early I still have to prep and get ready for work so I was like let me just you know grab breakfast go to the comic book store and then head back so by the time I got back in my town it was like 5 30 traffic started acting up and I was like all right I'm glad I came home let me show you guys what I got when I went there so the first thing I got was this cute little hat look at it, it has little ears I love hats that have ears on them it's just so cute and then it has like the Sailor Moon girls on the inside this is gonna be so cute on me this is gonna be so cute and then I got two mangas the first one I got was fairy tale because I did start watching this so I wanted to check out the anime and see how that was the guy that worked there told me that this is really good did he say the anime was better sometimes animes are better than manga like Jujutsu Kaisen I wasn't really feeling the manga but when I watched the anime it was better because like just the animation the way that they did the storyline it's just so far I'm enjoying it more than I enjoyed the manga but he was I don't care remember if he said the manga or the the anime is better but I got fairy tale which basically is like following a club of wizards so you guys will probably see this in an up and coming letters and latte vlog which is where I go to coffee shop and read manga so I'm gonna probably read this during that vlog I got another Junji Ito bind up so this one is called tombs i checked it on goodreads and it actually has really good ratings so this is like a mix of different his stories so i'm excited to pick this one up because i haven't heard anyone talk about this so i'm excited to read this with you guys i might read this in a letters and latte vlog with you guys as well so excited for that one and excited for this and that's everything that i got so i'm about to get settled unpack this vlog is probably going to be long but i wanted you guys to see what i did for my birthday and just like hang out and kick it but i'm going to you know get settled in my house and be back home but let me know in the comment section below do you unpack as soon as you come back from a trip or a vacation or are you one of the people that don't unpack until there's something that you absolutely need and then you're just like okay I gotta unpack now it's been like two weeks because I unpack the second that I touch my house because it's just like I just feel better knowing that everything is where it needs to be and then I can put stuff back where it needs to go because if I push it off I will never do it so I'd rather just get it done same thing with like waking up early it's just like as soon as the alarm goes off or the third alarm because <laughs> I usually set like three alarms you just got to get up you just have to get up and do it like the first part is actually doing it so let me know in the comment section below if you unpack after the trip or like way after the trip because I'm directly after the trip but yeah I will see you guys in the next clip hopefully it'll be when I finish the book so bye Alright y'all, what's up? I'm here to close the vlog. So I have finally finished Blood Mercy. I have been reading this for almost two months. I did have to stop a few times because... I was I had TBRs for other videos and I kind of got wrapped up in other books but it ultimately took me about two months to finish this and I ain't gonna lie the ending disappointed me a little bit because 
honestly the whole book overall i feel like even though it's slow pace and the plot is low and you're just getting to know the world and the characters i really honestly feel like this could have been like 300 pages less like nothing was happening <laughs> nothing was happening like we were just learning about the hasperians learning about the world and stuff like that which is fine but it just felt like once we got our footing with like like who the Hasperians were and the political intrigue and all that once we understood all that there was no need to keep re re like saying the same shit over and over and over again I feel like it was very repetitive and I feel like the ending was very convenient well I don't want to spoil it but there were magical abilities introduced that were weren't really touched on throughout the book and the conversations that were overheard felt very convenient. The The conflict of the book, it literally lasted like three pages. And it just blew me because it was just like all of this stuff started happening at the end that felt random. And then like convenient started to happen to fix that randomness. And then we didn't even really stay and deal with the matter, the conflict at hand for very long. It literally all was solved within like two pages. Like everything was solved within like two, three pages. And then the next chapter, because in this book, there is basically like the start of a pandemic called like frost fever. So like slowly children are starting to get sick and stuff like that. And Casey had basically brought to her father saying like we really need to do something about the start of this pandemic. Like there's a virus that's spreading. We need to do something about this now. And he basically was like no. But she teamed up with the Hasperians to do something about it because the virus was actually starting in her lands. So they did treat and help the children that were affected by this in the lands. But like there was like 10, 15 pages dealing with like the children with the frost fever. Like, I don't care. I, I don't care about the children. Like, I don't, I don't want to, I, I like, are you kidding me? Like we're, we're start, we're about to start a war. We're at the peak of the start of a war. Like this is where the tables are about to start turning this is where we're about to be introduced to some things that are going to lead up to the other books involving war and heavier politics and a bigger divide and you want to spend like 10 plus pages more pages with the children and the frost fever and adoption and all this stuff than the actual conflict in the book like why would you do that like it just made me want to just give this book two stars honestly because like as i was reading it i'm like okay you know this is a cute little start like i'll probably just continue the series and see like where it goes you know what i'm saying like the writing was pretty good and i was interested in like the characters and the world and stuff like that but then i got to the end and i was just like girl like what security like what are we talking about please i gave it three stars on goodreads but it's really a 2.75 because that ending really pissed me off and i don't want to talk about specifically what happened because i know it's starting to get more traction more popular i don't want to spoil it for anyone i think i've talked about this book enough but for me i, I just wasn't feeling the ending however i do have the prequel to this book i'm going to be picking that one up it's shorter so i, I don't know I, I might read the second book and then i'll decide if i'm going to continue on the series but just based off of this, I don't really want to read anymore. <laughs> but if, if they're going into a war and it's actually going to be well done, I'm interested in reading more. But if I read the second book and it's just like talking more talking in circles and just some shit that I just don't want to read about, I'm not going to continue the series. We'll see. I'm going to read the prequel because it's short. Where is she? Yeah, so I have the prequel right here. This is not as short as I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, 275. So almost almost 300 pages. It's half the size of this. Well, actually more than half. Yeah, about half the size of, of the first book. So, I don't know. I'm going to read this and I'm going to read the second book. And then I'll decide if I'm continuing on the series. Unfortunately, I just was not feeling that ending. But I love the covers. And I'm interested in hoping that the world gets better. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it's going to be a long one. I'm <laughs> starting to edit it now and it's looking like it's going to be a long one. But I know you guys wanted to see what I did on my birthday. I am so grateful and blessed to see another year. Especially be, be, based off the things that I talked about in my, my last vlog, Letters and Lattes. Like life is very short. I've been seeing a lot of people my age or even younger than me, honestly, 
passing so i'm really enjoying my 30s you know live laugh love all those things and i loved my birthday i had a great time i did all the things that i loved doing i felt just very loved my boyfriend gave me love my family gave me love all of my followers on instagram were giving me love y'all gave me love it just was a great birthday i had a great birthday i'm grateful that i'm here to see another year i'm glad i got to bring you guys with me but I need to finish editing this vlog so I can get it up for you guys this weekend. So I will see y'all next week, okay? Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see you then. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave this emoji right here. And I will see y'all next time, okay? Bye!